What's up guys, Super Golden Key here, coming at you with another LEGO Transformers review. So today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Cybertron Leo Breaker. Now, I've already told you about Transformers Cybertron in my last video with the Cybertron Optimus Prime. And so here we have one of the Autobots, Leo Breaker. And he transforms into a Cybertronian looking lion thing. As a lion, I think it looks, uh, alright. Um, it looks, it looks pretty much like a lion, sort of, but it's not quite right in some of the places. But, for what it is, it's pretty good. I mean, the original didn't really look much like a lion either, but that's what it is. So, for the articulation of this mode, um, you can move these front arms. It, uh, you have to kind of move the shoulder things out of the way first, but you can move these forwards and backwards. You can move them out. You can bend the elbow and rotate that. And the foot or the front paw can move up and down. The head can look up. The mouth can open. The waist can move up and down, and it can also move side to side. The legs can move forward and backwards and out. Um, they have a joint here and a joint here, and the feet can move up and down. The tail um, is this sort of not completely correct um, technique, but it's a bunch of hand clip pieces um, all connected to one another, and they can move all about, so you can get a lot of nice dynamic tail movement, which I think is pretty cool. So for the size comparison, there's really only one that matters, and that is with the Optimus Prime. You can see how he looks with him there. Smaller, as he should be. So the transformation on this guy is pretty simple. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this whole section right here with the tail on the back part and just remove that. Then you are going to want to take the head here, move it up, rotate this piece, and push it down, like so. You kind of have to move it to the side a bit as well. Then you are going to want to take the waist, take it, and just move it underneath and slide it under like so. Then you're going to want to take the legs here, move them down. You're going to want to rotate this part and push that in. You're going to want to do the same on the other side. You're going to straighten out the legs, then you're going to want to take the feet, leave the, those part out like that, and then rotate these inner pieces to make um, stable feet. Then you're going to take the, arm, the paws here and just move them up like that. Then you're going to want to rotate the elbow area, the lower arm. Bring that down. And then you're going to want to see get the head out of the way a bit. You're going to want to take these pieces and move them forwards like that. And that. And here you have Leo Breaker in his robot mode. And as a robot mode, I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty accurate like he does in the show. 
Um, oh, you're also going to want to take this this piece right here and just push that up. Forgot about that. So, yeah. Um, the articulation is still the same. That this head it can sort of move up and down a bit, but not too much. Otherwise, it'll pop out. You can move the arms outward, up that far. You can, whoops. You can rotate them, and then at the elbow, the waist can move around. You can kick out that far. You can move forwards, bend at the knee, and you have this joint thing right there. And yeah, that's articulation in robot mode. So for size comparison in his robot mode, here he is with the Cybertron Optimus Prime. As you can see, they look pretty good together. Now, those parts that you took off earlier, what you're going to want to do is detach it from there like that. You can take this and plug it into there to give him his chain weapon thing. And then you're going to want to take this part, um, flip these claw things out, and plug it right here onto there. And then you have his weapons and such. Yeah. So on his own, he makes for a pretty cool little robot thing. But... If you've watched Transformers Cybertron, you know he has a third use. He can combine with Optimus Prime to create a new transformation mode type of thing. So, let's get into that. Here we have Optimus and Leo Breaker in his Savage Claw mode. This was a really cool thing in the show. Um, it's a super powerful attack. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. He becomes his arm and they have his claw things. Um, for some reason, the thing is super loose on this, so he can't hold up his arm that well. But he can hold it in the air like he does in the show. And that looks pretty cool if I do say so myself now the legs and tail don't really fit anywhere into this so yeah that's kind of unfortunate that there isn't really a place for these things to go but um you just kind of put them to the side I guess that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with future uploads. So long.